Hi, I'm Daniel Salas. And I'm Melissa Coulter. It's the Halloween season. We're gonna do this David Bowie inspired glam cat person. For this makeup, you'll need water-based face paint. I like to use Wolf Brothers because it has very good pigment in it. And then an assortment of brushes. You're gonna want though basically a large brush to apply and then smaller brushes to go in and do the details and line work. And then we ended it with this really nice lip gloss from ColourPop, I think. They have very highly pigmented makeups as well. Her makeup is gonna be, be done almost entirely in water-based makeup. I like to use Wolf Brothers. It's the best brand in the world. So we're just gonna get a nice base coat first. And I love the way this stuff goes on. I think it gives kind of like a pretty surrealism to it to have it not be just flat white. I'm going in with some gold and giving her basically eyeshadow. You kind of want to go with lighter colors first. So you see how we've got the gold, which is a lighter color, and then I come in with the red. So you can just do, hopefully, one good line and you'll be set rather than trying to like get the light color butted up against that intense red color. The black lines that I did are mainly to emphasize the giant uh, eyelashes we'll have and also to open up the eye. I'm about to go in and fill in this blank area with white and you'll see how that just makes her eyes look bigger. And you can see here that the membrane of her eye doesn't have any makeup on it. I don't like to go in and get that close to someone's eye. If your model wants to fill that in themselves, that can add some fun or not. It's, it's fine without it. With this cross hatching, it's almost like cartooning. So face painting is like a fine line between a cartoon and a makeup, but it usually turns out pretty interesting. So right now I'm just going in and adding a little definition to these lines I've just made with red. And you don't even need to go along the whole paint. This is somewhat inspired by Princess Amidala from Star Wars. Fun fact. And that's just a little sort of cat nose. Um, it's more of a suggestion that it's a cat nose than an actual highly detailed situation, but you can see how it gives you the idea that that might be how our nose is shaped. That's the end of our tutorial and uh, keep your effects practical. You can 
find us on the web at either Skagit Valley College Mask Making Class or Grimorium on Facebook. Thank you.